Okay, so in this video, we're going to go over the rasterization 100% opaque option. Uh, so this one is not going to have any black removal. Whatever you have set uh, as your artwork currently in whatever layer you're choosing, it's going to apply the different uh, rasterizations in sizes and or dot and line um, and make sure that all the pixels are 100% opaque. So let's get started. Remember, uh, just like I mentioned in previous videos, uh, all layers that you're not applying the rasterization to need to be turned off and only leaving the one that you want to rasterize. So let's go ahead. I'm uh, For illustrative purposes, again, I'm going to go with the biggest option so you can kind of see what happens. So this is the layer I want to apply it to. I'm going to select rasterization, uh, the cosine options. You can see them all here in the multiple different sizes from 14 to 30. And I'm going to select the 30. So I'm going to click to apply and we'll let it process so again depending on the speed of your computer will be how fast this process goes on mine it's about 10 seconds maybe even less so now that's applied and we get a nice little layer group with all that stuff in there let's go ahead and turn on the garment color let's turn on the text so we can see what happened and you can see we've got a nice cosine dot uh, rasterization applied to this and it just basically goes over the entire um, artwork it's not you're not going to see any variations in the dot they'll all be the same size dots uh, the other great part is if i turn off the t-shirt color layer it's kept the black as well but you can see there is no transparency grid behind this section here because everything will be 100 percent opaque hence the name rasterization 100 percent opaque so let's go ahead and delete that result uh, the result layer and turn on the original turn off the text and move on down. So instead of cosine, let's do let's do like an 18 line uh, at a zero degree. And the line we have different degrees. We have the zero degree, which is left and right. We've got the 90 degree, which is up and down. And we also have an angle 22. So this time, let's do a left and right, and we'll do 18. So I'll click that one and let that process. Uh, so yeah, they're all pretty much around the 10 second range for my computer, which is. I've got 32 gigs of RAM, so, um, a pretty fast processor, and um, graphics card. So if you've got, you know, like a Chromebook or something, I don't even know if you can run Affinity on, but if you've got a really cheap computer, it might take a little while. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to pay attention to, uh, you know, buying something that's uh, not going to take forever. So there's the result. Let's turn on um, the garment color, and let's turn on the text. And you can see, as I zoom in, uh, there's an anti-aliasing function to the zoom in Affinity. So you can see the, the lines kind of jumping around. It looks kind of funny. Uh, but just rest assured, this will be a nice line. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the left and right or the up and down, but there's different applications for it. Uh, but you can see here, it's a, it's applied that nice lined halftone to the artwork. If I turn off the garment color, you can see it's kept all the black as well. And everything is 100% opaque pixels versus the stuff um, that's knocked out, which is 0% opaque. So let's go ahead and delete that result and move on to the next one. I'm going to turn on the layer that I want to apply the effect to. I'll make sure that's the one selected. Let's move down and we'll go with the round. And this time I'm, I'm going to go with the smallest one, a round 14 at a 22 degree angle. Click that and let it process. Okay, now that that's processed, it took about, uh, in the brain, it took about 10 seconds. Uh, now you can see we've got a really nice fine round dot. Uh, it has kept the black. We didn't do any black removal or knock out black. And uh, yeah, you get the consistent dot size through the whole thing. So you can see here that's really, really nice. You know, those, those small dots, especially if you can hold on to them uh, with your prints and the holes don't close up. Uh, you know, if it does, just go with a bigger size. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn on the text. Um, and, you know, just to kind of show you, if I delete that garment background, that's what that top function is. So let's say you finished your artwork. Just hit Add Garment Color. And it'll throw a garment color down here, and you can change that color whenever you want. So, yeah, it's a very nice result. Like I said before, it uh, applies that nice rasterization, and you get 100% opaque pixels. So, yeah, that covers all of the... Um, rasterization 100% opaque and you can try its different variations I will be updating over time um, I'm also going to be showing you in the next video how to remove um, 
uh, transparent pixels by applying uh, rasterization to them. I'm going to be working on some updates in the future that hopefully you'll be able to get in there and do some customizations to kind of uh, remove any of those floating pixels that cause people issues. See you in the next video.